Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Force here with the continuation of our Diablo 3 Hardcore playthrough series with Forset. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this, she says. Alright guys, we must now cross the bridge to Crossick. Crossick, uh, whatever. Cross the bridge. People are messaging me. This is so infuriating. Alright, listen. Let me just let me just vent here for a moment. I have no problem with people messaging me, of course. Nobody knows if I'm recording or if I'm just playing. My problem is with Blizzard not hiding these things when I have Busy up. In StarCraft 2, if I put Busy up, I don't see any chat. And that is glorious, and that is exactly how it should be. But I don't know what the problem is, but in Diablo 3, it doesn't matter if you put... In fact, it almost makes no difference if you put yourself up as Busy. Because people just keep messaging you anyways. Yeah, oh, man, it makes me sound like super, uh, super rude and stuff, but it's just, it's just, just a little frustrating that Blizzard doesn't, you know, you gotta consider someone like me trying to record that, I can't be answering all the millions of messages that I get every five seconds. Blizzard, help a brother out, please. Welcome back, guys. Force here, just complaining about stuff. What else is new? Should be all right. Everything will be all right. The kids will be all right, as a matter of fact. We're here in Act 3, doing what we can to cross the bridge to Corsic. Dealing with plenty of death. noise in the background as well, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. It just happens. Alright, so we get these guys here, and uh, I don't even know why I'm walking this direction, because where I need to head is just straight northeast, and I know that. I guess I just felt like exploring, but I don't think you guys care to see me explore, and I don't even care to explore. What is- I have never experienced this, and now I am trapped by that fool. Okay, this friend right here as well. He's dead. Is there another one? Always. Oh, Come in threes. Did you? Well, let's see if you can learn to shut your mouth. <laughs> Force, you're in a terrible mood right now. No, I'm actually all right. I'm just, uh, sometimes I'm a little sassy. It's all right to be a little sassy at times. No, don't pick that up. Put that down. Go into, where are we? Crider's Outpost. This is not on task force. This is completely off the mission that you're currently on. I realize that. I realize this. This I am aware of. But I am not concerned because this should be fun. Look at this. What is this? Thing? Just knock that down. Whoopity doo. That's cool. This is awesome. I've never seen this before. I, usually because I just go straight for the objective and I don't even bother uh, going to these side areas. Oh no. Don't you mortar me. Let's see what we can do here. Mortar minions. Split ourselves up though. See if that helps a little bit. Yeah, we're fine. Diamond skin as well, which you can't see actually when I'm, uh, you can see it now, but you can't see it when I'm mirror imaged. It's actually, uh, unavailable for vision. Unavailable, see, these are, these are the types of things that I love about this game, though, these, these random dungeons, which, you know, eventually you'll find them all, and you'll know about them, and you'll know where they generally spawn, and what their percent chance to spawn is, but when the first time you discover some stuff, it's pretty cool. And for someone like me, who's always beelining it for the objective, is so difficult for Leah. I really must do something. I can imagine. No, remember when your sisters were training? You Ooh. couldn't intervene then either. I'm still waiting. Just a little. Oh, treasure goblin! Thanks for the hasta. Hasta what? Let's find out what it has to do. It has to give me shitty DPS. She's got much better right now. And, uh, actually, you know what I do want to do for her? Let me run back to town real quick, guys. Uh, don't worry, this will just take one second. So we want to run back to town real quick, give her a gem. Some extra damage. That's a good one. Four to eight. Now, my weapon doesn't have uh, a gem slot. Actually, I might want to take a quick look. I don't think it's going to, but let's take a quick look here, see if... A little bit extra damage. Uh, but, I mean... You know, we'd also be replacing this, which gives me the 41 intelligence, which is also additional resistance, plus the arcane power. And so I think we'll just stick with what we have. Thank we'll you. give her that nice weapon. You're welcome. Lady Milady. Remember, guys, that's her name. Lady Milady. In RL. Yeah, I'm serious. That's her name. Lady Milady. 
for reals. Hmm. Ain't nothing over there either. That was the crappiest teleport in the world. <laughs> oh, breaking all these barrels, still getting nothing. Barrels have always disappointed me. I have yet to find something significant from a barrel. Which makes me kind of sad. Clever ring. Let's see how clever it is. Nope, not that clever. She's got some good stuff right there. Mm, keep the magic on. Oh, come on, really? Wow. That's it. Alright. Whatever. I knew it was going to be a waste of time. I knew it. In my heart of hearts, I, I, I was like, you know, this is probably gonna be a waste of my time. Probably just don't even want to go down there. No real, real, real reason. I thought there's always supposed to be a resplendent chest in these kinds of things. What a jip. Unless I completely missed it, which is quite probable. All right, let's just, let's focus now. On task, on task. The only justification for going off task is extra XP for leveling because I am in hardcore and I want to make sure that I'm not under leveled, especially once we uh, start to encounter some more boss fights, you know. Especially once I come up against Azuziel. He can be a pain in the butt. I want to make sure I can survive that. I'm in skin too. I hate those guys. The damage is so annoying. Diamond skin my way through it. I mean, it's it's fairly easy to avoid, but if you sit in that thing for more than a second or two, you take some hefty damage. So, just be wary. All right, things got to be over here. Those guys, super slow, make me raffle. <laughs> That's a raffle. That's an RL raffle. Let's frenzy it up. Increased attack speed. Faster ticks from Disintegrate. No, not deer ticks. They give you Lyme disease. We're talking about damage here. Ticks. Ticks per second. Come on. Use your brain. Ticks terrify me. Really, they do. I think the scariest part of... The scariest notion of a tick is that it'll just... You won't even know it's there. You know? I guess there's many more... Deadly things that are much smaller than ticks. Which is bacteria. But... It's just the thought of that little thing sucking, you know? Creeps me out, man. Just creeps me out. I'm just gonna do that damage. Kill that guy real quick. Get him, Get him out of here. There we go. Some stuff over here. I tried switching my mouse back today. Uh, I was doing a playthrough with the Firefall beta. And I was like, yeah, let me try going back to my old mouse. I didn't realize I, it's, a, it's a weighted mouse. And um, it's a Logitech. And I, I just wasn't used to it at all. I tried it for like 15 minutes. I'm like, I got to go back. The mouse that I have right now, which is the uh, Steel Series Diablo 3 mouse, it's not, it's not weighted. And uh, I mean, it's got weight to it, but it doesn't have... The Logitech mouse has weights that you can put in it so that you can consistently adjust it. But even when it's at like it's almost its lowest setting, it's still heavier than this. And I just wasn't. I've been using this mouse for the one that I have now for uh, a bit now, and I just wasn't used Look to the out. other one. It drove me nuts. There they are. These fools. <laughs> I've been circling for hours to die in a matter of seconds. Well, it's a sad story for them. Also, the middle, mouse, the middle mouse click was a little bit weird on the other mouse, too. So, the, the point of my story is that I tried reverting back to my old mouse and I wasn't used to it. Um, I've, I've since... I've switched up... Need more arcane power. Come on. Still waiting. I've switched up my mouse pads, and I think that that may have fixed the issue that I was having with my mouse for the longest time. This is like... It's like a perpetual conversation I'm having with you guys about my mouse and the issues it's causing while gaming, but I have ascended. I've switched up my pad and I think that that's going to solve the issue, we'll see. I'll let you know if issues arise again, but for now things are looking pretty good. These guys, just get them off screen, whatever. I don't even need to see these I things don't have to kill enough them. Power. Just, just, fling, just fling spells in their general direction, fire at the darkness. 
we go. These fields are deadly. They're deadly fields here. Look at that though, huh? Sometimes I really wish that I had time slow back, but I think that uh, my current setup is pretty solid. I'm quite happy with the defensive abilities and uh, the maneuverability that I got from everything. And always a fan of teleport-like abilities. They're just so, you know, they're so useful. Obviously, especially in PvP, but even in uh, even in PvM, what we're doing now, it's just really awesome to have. Leave me. It is too late. Take this. Take a quick I look. No use Always take anymore. a quick look for upgrades as we venture throughout. All right, we got this one right here. There's always some sort of a champion dude here too. Got mind control there. I'm sure he was thrilled about it. Oh, come on, get out of there. Thank you. I didn't think I could get any better. 27. Getting there, guys. Picked up Blizzard. Not the company, but the skill. Magic weapon. Got electrify. This trebuchet is an abomination. We must destroy it. And we got Illusionist, which I am gonna take a quick look at. Just to be safe. Every time I've been looking at skills in the past, I've just been sitting in the middle of wherever, and I realized ah, that's a bad idea. That's gonna lead to some bad things. So. Whenever you suffer more than 15% of your life in a single hit, the cooldowns and mirror image and teleport are automatically reset. That is uh, obviously pretty solid. And now, evocation is all cooldowns by 15%. Across the board. Reduction. Obviously, Illusionist is good. Ah! The debate, my friends, the debate. It's like consistency or oh shit button, basically. That's that's the toss up. I'm a man of consistency, I don't know what to tell ya. I got I'm gonna start doing research too. I've gotta start researching good wizard builds for uh, hardcore. Cause I'm just, <laughs> as you can tell right now, I'm just kinda winging it. Just going with whatever, whatever I feel like at the moment. Which, you know, you gotta play it smart, man. You can do that, sure. And maybe some of you out there want to call that the m more pure gaming method of doing things, but pure or not, end of the day, this is about survivability. It's not about EPing. Well, for, for me at least, I, I don't. I could care less about EPing. I joke about EPing, that's how little I care about it. Need more time. Like, yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday in the force feed or whenever you happen to watch this and the force feed the other day The one that's titled about Starcraft 2 upcoming changes in heart of the swarm. I <laughs> I talk about how like all pro Starcraft gamers are lucky that I don't play anymore because I was number one in the world And I would raffle poem them if I still played Guys come on. It's obviously a joke. Some people literally took that seriously and I'm just like how do you not know? First of all, how have you not realized that the end of the force feed is always accompanied with a joke? Particularly a bad joke, if possible. And how could you, how could you not just tell? Like, yes, that that was serious. Yeah, I was the best StarCraft player in the world. You never heard of me. I didn't actually win tournaments, not because I wasn't capable, but but because I, I didn't need that money. <laughs> Tournament money. That's what I said, and 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 people people thought it was real. People took that for serial. And I said, come on, guys, are you just trolling here, or do you not realize that I'm trolling? What's going on? You dare attack me! I think EP is hilarious. I think if you game for validation in your life, that you gotta, you gotta reset some priorities. I'm not I'm not talking about pro gamers. I'm talking about you know, pro gamers. That's actually pretty cool. Like esports is actually pretty cool. But people who are like validate themselves through games, it's not that's not acceptable. <laughs> you need other sets of standards in your life, unless maybe that's you know that's all you care about. And if that's all you need. And you're content with that, then you know, rock on, buddy. Keep it up. Do do what you need to do to make yourself a happy individual and to live a 
fulfilling life. And if that's all it is, then congratulations. Who the heck? Maybe I should, uh, you know, maybe we should uh, applaud that. But that's all they need to be happy in life for some people. Maybe that's a good thing, you know? They don't, they don't need healthy relationships or things that require work or effort. <laughs> so sometimes I tell you BM force because that that's what you can call me. Talked with my girlfriend and before about like the type of humor that I have because I try to bring humor to some of the stuff that I do just because I know that it's, it's enjoyable. I mean, I like watching things that are humorous. And in fact, my favorite. Act like, if you ask me, like, hey, what kind of shows do you like to watch, or what what kind of movies? I always prefer, unless I'm in the mood for something else, like a, a horror or an action movie. I always prefer comedy over all else. I just like, I think it's good for it's good for the soul. Comedy, comedy does good things for people. And uh, so, you know, I'm not the world's funniest person, but I've got a sense of humor, even if it's a bad one. And I was talking to my girlfriend about the style that I have, and. She says, and I, I think I agree with this, she says that I have a sarcastic style and that I should embrace that. And I agree if that's, you know, if that's the type of... Oh, I'm quiet for a second. By siege weapons to slay you. You stand in the middle of the army of hell. It will crush you. Okay, Asmodon. I cast your army from the walls of the keep. I destroyed them upon the open field. You have nothing that I fear. Ha ha ha. So yeah, just talking about the, t the style of humor that I have, and I think sarcastic is kind of what I uh, what I embrace because I think that that's just me innately. Like that's that's who I am innately. I can be very sarcastic, so yeah, that's kind of what I shoot for at times. And if that comes across as rude, well, probably that's what it would come across as it's sarcasm. <laughs> right, 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 right. Focus on Diablo Force. What is wrong with you? Still, just millions of complaints about the real money auction house going on. People just so furious about it. Prices are still a bit absurd. So, make sure you're not wasting your money, please. Do yourself a favor. I beg of you. Don't waste your money while prices are through the roof right now. And that's not to say, you know, currently there's lots of things that are posted for 250 That's not to say things won't sell for 250 That's not to say things won't sell for 500 plus. What I am saying is that the items that are selling for 250 are not worth that. That there are items that are that are way less uh, that aren't that valuable that are currently up for that listing, and that's that's just a ripoff. The market's brand new. The real money auction house market is brand new, so you expect that to happen. Just be aware that that's that's what takes place, and things will curb down. Be aware of that. I could no longer sit idly by while you brought the fight to Asmodan. It has been too long since I felt the thrill of battle myself. They nerfed you, Tyrion. Destroying Uriel. my siege weapons makes little difference. Every hour, more of my forces pour forth from the mouth of hell. Soon, they will wipe your pathetic keep from existence. Brave words, Asmodan. But words are all you have left to hurl at us. Ah ha ha ha. Forward, friend. Now we shall drive Asmodan's army back into the accursed crater. Why is Lady Milady still naked? To reforge your sword of justice. I look forward to finally seeing you wield it. Let us depart. You honor us, Seraph. You know, Tyrael, he used to be so strong, but they nerfed him into oblivion because people were abusing him. People farming Act 3 Inferno just because of his abilities, not because of anything that their characters were prepared to do. Wait for him to land, there we go. And just unleash the storm. Drop some of this action. There we go. Wonderful. I am happy with this result. Those things. That dude. <clears throat> what are Tyrael's hitting for right now? Let's keep an eye on that. 17. Pathetic. I am so good. I astound myself. Although to be honest with you, I don't know if they just nerfed Tyrael in Inferno or not. <laughs> so 
He could be what he was normally here in uh, normal right now, but who knows? Really, who does know? Do you know? Tell me. Oh, you. Daemon. Matt. <laughs> oh, Matt's Daemon. You know what annoyed me? A little bit off topic here. The new, uh... The new Born movie, you know, the Born Identity, Supremacy, Born, whatchamacallit, it doesn't feature Matt Damon. I, I like that movie because of him. Not that I have a crush or anything, but I just thought he was a phenomenal actor in that, in that series. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to watch the new Born movie, whatever it's called, because uh, it doesn't have Matt Damon in it. Sorry. Whoops. Wow. That. I am so good. I astound myself. We're good, don't worry. Especially since all those millions of guys just lined up in front of me. Yep. Need more arcane power. I need to go kill these guys, don't I? Freaking summoners. Still going to town. I am so good. I astound myself. I, you astound me too, Forset. You really uh been quite impressive. Pretty happy with your capabilities. She's been doing a great job. My witch doctor's almost level 60. Barbarian's still chilling out at 60. Working at farming Act 3 Inferno. Kind of took a little bit of hiatus from him, though. I'll tell you why, too. A good, re uh, good place for me to give you guys my plans for that. Um, it seems like everyone who posts on YouTube is playing a barbarian. And I was just like, well, what the heck? Like... It's just going to be more of the same content if I keep doing this. You know, Kriparian's doing it, uh, Psy Starcraft, he's also doing a Barbarian. And those are kind of like the big... The bigger nothing. people who are producing quality content. <laughs> I love Psy, but he's he's just a giant troll. Half of his videos are just trolling, but... <laughs> the, 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 the more well-known figures who are posting content have seemed to have been all Barbarians or Wizards. And I'm just like, I, I need something else. I need a little bit of a distinguishment here. So, figure Diablo 3 is still in its early stages. Let me uh, also have a witch doctor that I tool around with. Help me. I'm not going to help you. I promise not to do any of those side things anymore. Is this my blood? I can't. Yeah, so you're going to see some uh, more witch doctor, witch doctor action from me. Once I've got the time to get him up to 60, and I'll start gearing him and... Then you'll see some gameplay with him. I love the Barbarian, and I'm still going to play it, and I'm still going to PvP with it as well. But, um, thing is, I just wanted I wanted something different when it comes to YouTube content. So that you guys aren't just seeing the same character class from pretty much everyone who's making videos. So, that was my thought process behind it. And that's how it's going to be. Like it or not. Uh, smoke spheres again. One of those before. I'm carrying too much. Oh, come on, really? Right, let's head back to town real quick. Get some stuff here. None of it's looking to be too good, though. Nah. Nothing that I really want. What's her neck piece? Seven experience for monsters. I could give her that. It's not really good for her, though. And, uh, I think I'm just gonna straight up throw this stuff away. Just toss it. I've got right the adventuring life. Didn't care for it. Too much pain. Not enough profit. In the lower levels, I really don't care to craft stuff. I think I've really started to see the benefit of some of the better recipes in Inferno of crafting gear, but while leveling up, I... Doesn't ma doesn't matter to me at all. I much rather just uh, buy because you can buy some amazing gear for so very cheap, you know. So it's kind of it seems just it just seems kind of pointless is all. It seems like it's really it's not it's not worth it. You just waste so much. And sure, they're tuning up crafting and they're gonna make it so that it's not as terrible, but. But still, still doesn't seem worth the uh, the randomness to me yet. Spe at, certainly at lower levels, why why waste it? Oh come on! Help 
returns. A powerful enemy we have laid low. Find the demon gate. Edge of the abyss. It's gotta be right. It's, it's right around here somewhere. There it is. Come on, really? Why are you gonna do me like that? Edge of the abyss, guys. Oh snap. Eldruin will destroy Boss fight. the demonic seal protecting this gate. Alright, breaker of the siege. I'm ready for you. Let's do this. Don't yell at me. Keep your pant keep your panties on, huh? Alright, time to fight the siege breaker, I guess. <laughs> Where's she going? Oh, nice. He was, uh... He was mind-controlled for a minute there. Alright, there you go. Need more time. Wow. I'm playing sloppy. My apologies, guys. Right, attack my mirror images. Ah, oh, he's out of range. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Knew that was coming. There we go. And he's dead. Diamond skin. The beast is down. Oh, snap. I, I pretty much almost just stayed in there for one big massive hit that was about to come down. That was not wise. Ah, right, here's Adria. Walking all funny. Take a look at this real quick before I talk to that crazy lady. 4 to 6 damage. Lots and lots of extra stuff on this, uh, but I would lose a bunch of damage from the lack of intelligence that it has. And this one is great for life, but uh, again, losing damage. Maybe hold on to that. This one gives me thorns, arcane power, critical hits grant arcane power, experience, life globe, lots of stuff. But again, don't know. Maybe maybe I can try to sell that in the in the uh, hardcore auction house. You know. I come with urgent news. Leah has had another vision. A vision of twisted demonic towers and enormous hearts beating within them. I know of them. They are the Sin Hearts. The Sin Hearts. Asmodan must have dredged them up from the depths of his realm to empower his legions. Then I will be happy to stop them from beating. And that's what we will do next time. Thank you guys so much for watching as we continue our hardcore playthrough series. You know what I should do though? I'm gonna make sure we go over there and grab the checkpoint. We'll be returning with more four sets as we continue to work our way through Act 3. First. Cuts. The demon gate lies in ruins, while Asmodan has brought hell itself into the crater. I will destroy the Sin Hearts that bring unholy light to his armies, and then face the Lord of Sin himself. Yeah, sounds fun, sounds fun. Make sure you tune in for the next episode so you don't miss that. The destruction of the Sin Hearts, the, continue of our se the continuation of our series, and, you know, all sorts of funness. All this great stuff. Let's go to Bastion's Keep Stronghold, though. This is a great place to be. All right, guys, thanks again. Tune in for the next one. It'll be a fun time. Take it easy. Goodbye. Ready to go. No, it's time to leave. Hope you've made your peace. <laughs>